my channel. My name is Alexandra, if you are new here, and I am from Sweden, so if you are wondering about my accent, that's why. <laughs> Uh, today's video is, as you can probably see from the title, is a get ready with me um, sort of ish, uh, using the palette I'm using for my two weeks one palette for uh, the last week and also uh, this coming week. And it's the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics uh, Meadow palette. Uh, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, so yeah, uh, I did the look I'm wearing right now and I also did the entire face except for my lips. So I thought I would tell you what I'm wearing. Uh, so um, first I'm wearing a Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Grunge. And then over top of that I'm wearing a Colourpop uh, Ultra Matte Lip in Naughty. So this was part of their um, fall collection, that's why it's in like special packaging. They, they are usually in like uh, clear, just clear tubes and a silver cap and sort of silver details. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing on my face. I will link the uh, video down below of the intro to my two weeks one palette uh, this week's because I usually, like every other week, I post uh, a review to the palette I uh, used the last two weeks including the intro for the palette I will be using for the next two weeks and then the other week I'm posting a get ready with me sort of uh, using the palette uh, yeah that I'm using for those two weeks so I also included a demo of uh, the look I was wearing in my intro I will link the intro down below uh, or the entire playlist down below uh, so in the intro I was wearing mostly this shade here called Slate Green, Crushed Blueberry, um, Pink Blossom and these two which is, these are called, uh, this one is Sweet Peach and this one is called Duke. And that's what I was wearing in that video so today I mainly focused on uh, the shade Bronze Leaf, Poison Ivy, um, this shade called Sandstone and I also use these two in my uh, crease so in outer corner. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you would like to uh, see how I did this look I'm wearing right now, just uh, keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm taking this MAC Paint Le Paint Pot uh, and then I'm applying this with a fake uh, Sueva brush from eBay. <laughs> and I'm just applying that all over my lid and then spreading it out with my finger. And then I'm taking this real Sueva brush and I'm taking this a shadow that is close to my skin tone. As you can see, I'm super close to finishing it, so that's very exciting. I already have a backup. I bought the H&M uh, Single Shadow in China Doll, I think it's called. And here I'm just taking the shade called Sweet Peach and I'm putting that into my crease. And I'm taking a smaller brush with the shade Duke. And I'm also putting this into my crease and on my outer corner. So. Yeah, <laughs> we're going fast. <laughs> so here I'm just taking a like a, a shader brush and I'm just intensifying the outer corner and then blending it out with that uh, smaller brush again. This is also a fake Sueva from eBay. I bought several of them uh, yeah, before and I don't like them so it's not worth it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm just applying Max... Um, 24 hour extended eye base uh, on my lids, uh, just where I want to place the color and then I'm taking the color called po Poison Ivy with a real Soeva shader brush, I think it's called 238 or 234, sorry, uh, and then I'm taking this uh, smaller brush again and just blending that out and as you can see I'm getting bored feeling there, blending. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm just going in and intensifying the shade on the lid even more. Uh, and as you will see, I will go back and forth between uh, these two brushes and also between the brush we used first for the shade called Sweet Peach. Yeah, here. I'm just taking the first one we used and I'm blending out the edges. So keep uh, applying color, keep blending. Uh, switch between brushes. As you can see here, I'm taking the shader brush again, just putting it slightly up into my crease so that it will be easier to blend out. 
And then I'm taking the uh, fake shader brush again and just uh, putting Duke uh, more intensely on the outer corner because I wanted a darker outer corner or outer V. So yeah, just apply that. And then I'm taking a, I think it's a eyebrow brush from Makeup Store and the Mixing Liquid from uh, Makeup Store. And I'm just uh, putting my brush into the shade uh, bronze leaf and applying that as an eyeliner close to my lash line uh, Yeah, so you can see I skipped a bit <laughs> But yeah, I'm just uh, creating a wing and just Keep applying it was sort of hard applying because uh, It catches the light differently uh, But it's still much easier than black eyeliner eyeliner So if you're scared to try a colored eyeliner or a like a shadow eyeliner uh, because you are not good at applying black eyeliner just try it and here you could see that I applied the uh, Lumini uh, illuminating primer uh, on my entire face and then I used the uh, Lumini CC like blurring and smoothing primer just in my t-zone so my chin my nose my uh, cheeks and my uh, forehead and then I'm applying a mixture of the MAC Studio Scope Foundation and the Lilo L BB Cream, the same as I've been doing in all my uh, videos uh, so far. <laughs> yeah, and just cleaning up the eyeshadow a bit in the outer corner and just yeah, applying that all over. And I'm also applying it with a, a dampened beauty blender. And here I'm taking a concealer from Lancome and I'm first applying that with my fingers and I walk, uh, I'm applying it to my chin and under my eyes and then I'm also blending that out with a dampened beauty blender, the same beauty blender. I love uh, beauty blenders. I haven't tried the Real Techniques one because uh, like once you try the beauty blender you don't want to try anything else so let me down but let me know down below in the comments if you think i should try the real techniques one even though i'm uh, loving this one uh, or if i should just stick to the beauty blender and then here i'm just making sure there are no creases and then i'm applying the code the airspun uh, powder in translucent uh, this, if you're curious about this powder and you have not tried it before, just beware that it's like heavily perfumed, so the scent is very strong. But if you, if you don't mind that, you can. Uh, it's a very good powder. Yeah, and then I'm taking this cream bronzer from YSL. Um, can't remember what. I think it's in the shade maybe four or three. Uh, and I'm applying that to my cheeks and also on my uh, sort of forehead temples. Uh, so just leaving the center of the forehead bare. And I'm using a dual fiber brush I also bought from eBay. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me powder on a e.l.f. I don't know what it's called, but it's a powder brush, a flat top brush. And I'm just applying this all over my face. You have to make sure the uh, the makeup stays the entire one hour. I will have it on. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm just applying a blush. Uh, I forgot to show it, but you will see it in my upcoming Project Tempa video. Yeah, spoiler, super exciting. But yeah, so I'm just taking a fake unicorn brushes brush from eBay and applying it and then I'm uh, applying the shade sandstone from the palette as a highlight uh, to the high points of my face so my tops of my cheeks my forehead nose bridge of my nose and also my cupid's bow and yeah all over basically <laughs> and then I'm taking the color duke again and I'm applying that to my lower lash line and then sort of perfecting the shape again. You know, I always do this. And then I'm taking sandstone again and applying that on my inner corner, just to brighten it up. And on my uh, brow bone, just cause I can. <laughs> I usually don't do this, but today I did. And then I am doing my eyebrows. So I kept sort of the entire process of 
this one eyebrow so that you can see what I'm doing and because I have no like brow routine video because yeah I don't I'm not that good at doing my eyebrows <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in soft brown and I'm as always starting on the out corner and just um, creep uh, brushing it through and then applying color but it's super like hard to work with because it's getting super old if you see my other videos you know I'm uh, like on the last leg of this deep brow so it's a bit hard to work with I have to uh, like uh, scoop some out of the container and then I have to apply it to my hand and then keep like rubbing it on my hand to warm it up make it easier and then I'm just applying mascara this one is not good it's from Kix so yeah don't buy it <laughs> and I'm applying that both to my upper and lower lash line and then I'm applying a pair of false lashes from H&M yeah, I also like kept the entire uh, false lash positioning, I don't know, video clip, <laughs> just so that you see that I'm sort of placing it in the center with my tweezers and then I'm using both my hand or my fingers and the tweezer to like secure it. And I'm using the House of Lashes lash glue as always. Okay, so here is the finished look. Uh, as I said in the intro, I uh, applied my lipsticks, which is lip, uh, Colourpop Lippy Stick, no Lippy Pencil, <laughs> in Grunge, and the uh, Ultra Matte Lip in uh, Naughty. So yeah, here is the finished look. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial slash get ready with me and uh, maybe try it out for yourself. You only need like a warm brown, a green and then a sort of like bronzy, goldy shade for the eyeliner. Uh, super simple. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this and subscribe if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I hope you enjoy this uh I hope you enjoy this uh my good blue blue blue